How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. Anybody know what I have here? A flag. Excellent. It doesn't look like a flag, does it? It's it's all folded up. It is folded up. And and in the mid in, in this flag is folded and, and it takes about thirteen folds uh, to get it to look like this, right? And and did you know that every one of those folds means something and and they may mean something a little bit different, but but in the end when it's all folded like this, do you know why why it's a triangle? Does anybody know? <laughs> what do you think? go with that the, the trinity yeah the trinity father son and and holy, and holy spirit that's a great that's a great idea and actually that's what i like to look at the points for too but that's not right <laughs> you know why it, it looks like this because way back when when they were doing this they had hats that looked like this yeah <laughs> Like a pirate hat, Arr, nah, arr. Um, yeah. But but yeah, it it looks it looked like the hat that that they wore, and 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 so that's. But I like I like what you say, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, to to remind us that, that God is part of this nation. Okay, but today, um, well, actually tomorrow is is Memorial Day, and and what do we celebrate on Memorial Day? Okay, all right, we're, we're, we're especially remembering all those soldiers, uh, the men and women who died in service to keep us safe, right? Okay, they sacrificed their lives so that we could have freedom. Now, what kind of freedom do you think you have? What do you think? What's that? You don't think you have very much. <laughs> well, maybe that's because of your age, but... Oh, because you have a little, a, a little yard and you can't go wherever you want to go. Well, I think that's a mom and dad question more than a freedom question. See, we've got, we, we do have freedom. Do you know we have the freedom to be here today? Okay. We, we've, got the, we've got the freedom to, what do you want to be when you grow up? Anybody know yet? You want to be a political reporter. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. You have the freedom to make that choice, right? Okay, all right. I want to be a YouTuber. You want to be a YouTuber? <laughs> Guess what? You got the freedom to make that choice. I want to be a YouTuber. You too? Uh -huh. I also want to be a YouTuber. You too? Huh? Me too. I want to be a MeTuber, okay? I want to be a pathologist teacher. A pathologist teacher. Is also a doctor. Is also a doctor. Boy, you want to be a lot of things. Okay, all right. So, an astronaut. You guys all have the freedom to do that, right? You, an astronaut farmer. Oh wow. Okay, okay. So, so, and and I have the freedom to quit asking you questions, right? No. You know, isn't that a good one? Okay, all right. So, so we, we have all kinds of freedoms, all right? We get to choose what we want to be in life and where we want to go and, and where we want to live, right? Okay? You don't, but you will one day. You get to look, grow into that. You can choose to eat pizza every day. That's a freedom that you will, will have. Not yet. Okay? All right? So, so the men and women who died died to give us those freedoms, okay, so that we don't have to do what we're told to do by everybody else. Now, we have to grow up into that. So, obviously, I have more freedom to do what I want than you do as, as a child, right? All right? But their sacrifice gives us what we have. But, you know, there's an even greater freedom that we have received from someone who gave a sacrifice. Do you know? God. God? Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay? So, so the father sacrificed his son, right? And, and his son sacrificed his life. Why would Jesus do that? Because he loves us. Because because God asked him to. Okay, and 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 in that sacrifice, guess what freedoms we were given? We were given a lot of stuff. A lot of freedom. But what do you think it was? Yeah, we were given our freedom from. I wonder if they know. You think they know? It can, seems to be stumping us. What freedom did God give us when Jesus sacrificed his life? Gave it. Okay, we have the freedom of everlasting life. Okay. What else? I can't hear you. Freedom from sin. Okay. So we have freedom from sin. Oh, your mom knows that she's just not raising her hand, huh? Oh, well, you got to watch these moms sometimes, all right? So they, they gave it to us, right? They got it right. Jesus died, and he gave us freedom from sin, all right? So we don't have to pay the price for our sinfulness. Jesus paid it for us, right? And they gave us freedom from death, all right? So now we have eternal life. It was not done for free. It cost him a lot. It cost his entire life. The question is, do we accept the gift? All right? So even for us, freedom is not free. We have to make decisions, right, on whether we're going to accept the freedom that God gives us. Because just like a Christmas present under the tree, how many of you have ever gotten a Christmas present under the tree? Okay, how many of you leave it there and don't open it? Huh? It, no, 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 just never open it. Did, did, have you ever received a gift and you've never opened it? You've said, nope, I don't want it. You have? I find that hard to believe. Huh? You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know because it'd be wrapped up. So... Anyhow, this is where I have the freedom to stop asking questions, right? Okay? All right? All right. So, so, so God gave us, through Jesus, the freedom of forgiveness of sin and the freedom from death and eternal life. The question is, what are we going to do with that gift? Okay? Do we, do we take that and embrace it or do we let it go? God, God wants to know. And everybody's got to make that choice at some point in their life. So I'm going to pray that we accept the freedoms that have been given to us. Not only by our brothers and sisters, our mothers and fathers, our aunts and our uncles and people that we don't even know through their sacrifice to keep our country safe. But I pray that we will accept the freedom that God gives us by accepting Jesus Christ, okay? And living solely and completely for Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the men and women who have sacrificed their lives, sometimes for people they don't even know, to give us the freedom to make decisions about who we're going to be and how we're going to live and who we're going to love. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you especially give us the freedom of Jesus. Because when we love Jesus, we live the life that he wants us to live. A life that Paul says is holy and blameless. And so, gracious God, help us. Help us to embrace life. Life in Jesus Christ. 
that will give us the freedom from sin and death to eternal life, that will give us the freedom and the forgiveness of sin so that we will know that we are loved more completely than ever before and that we will know that we will live eternally with you not because of anything that we have accomplished but because of who you are and all God's people said <laughs>